So what happens next? Honestly, I think she could she should come front up to her parents. She should say, "I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this." And she should show them her phone and she should apologize because it like any anyway, like it's going to come up eventually. They're going to be like, "Hey, where's your phone?" and she's going to be like, "Um, and do you want it to happen the way where they're going to be like, why didn't you tell, you took it to school without telling us? And I feel like you should just be honest and say that you, I'm sorry, I took it to school and my friends were holding it and they were excited and they dropped it and I'm sorry. And I mean, they might be nice and like maybe get the screen replaced, but it's honestly up to them whether they help you fix it and forgive you or whether they ground you, it's kind of up to them. What should the punishment be for the event? For example, should the child who broke the rule and brought her phone to school be punished? Why or why not? I think she should be punished, but I feel like she shouldn't be I don't think it should be taken away forever. I okay. I think she should be punished from her phone. I feel like it should be taken away for a certain amount of time and maybe like grounded or something for a small period of time, but not for a long time because I feel like if they take it away for a long time, she's going to become rebellious and then she's going to dislike her parents more. Because I know people who get things taken away and their parents take it away for such a long time that the kids start really disliking their parents and I don't know. I just feel like if they take it away for too long, she's just not going to like it. And I mean, I guess that's the point because she took it to school. But if your friends are pressuring you to like do something, you're most likely to do it because like, they're like, take your phone to school. Come on. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Like, what are you supposed to say? No, my parents told me not to. I mean, I guess that's what you should say because that's what they actually told you. But when you're getting peer pressured like that, it's honestly just hard to say no. So should the child who broke the phone by dropping it get punished? Why or why not? Do you mean the... The friend. The friend? Yeah. I feel like she shouldn't get punished because it's... Not exactly her fault. Maybe, like, the friend telling her, like, or maybe asking her politely, maybe. Like, so you kind of broke my phone. Do you think you could possibly pitch in to get the screen fixed? Or, like, possibly pitch in to, like, help get it fixed or something? But not force her. Not be like, hey, you broke my phone. Get it fixed. Or else I won't ever have it again. Like, I don't think you should be mean about it because it's not her responsibility. It's not her fault that you took it to school in the first place because your parents told you not to because they knew if you took it to school, that would most likely happen. Cool. And last question, if there was no rule about not bringing the phone to school, would you want the person who broke the phone to make amends still? Um, I don't know, like, if there was no rule, like, your parents never told you. I feel like, no, it's not their fault at all. If they were just holding it and messing around and you never told them to, because it never said in the story, like, just specifically, you told them, please stop then it's, again, it's, like, not their fault that they dropped it accidentally. Like, it's not like they grabbed your phone and took it and smashed it to the ground <laughs> on purpose to break it. Like, so, I mean, I guess, I mean, what can you do? Accidents <laughs> happen. <laughs> Thanks, Sierra. Yeah.